Hi, I'm Dr. Sean Purcell, and I'm the professor of jazz guitar and jazz arranging at George Mason University, right down the road in Fairfax, Virginia. In this three-part series, I will be discussing and performing three bebop outlines for jazz improvisation. The focus of this three-part series will be strong seventh to third melodic resolution voice leading through both the major and minor two five one progressions, as well as melodic shape for linear balance and to allow each outline to be easily playable for any instrument in the jazz ensemble. The 2-5-1 progression is the most important in the jazz genre, and you will find this progression within blues, rhythm changes, and any jazz standard you will encounter as a musician. The 2-5-1 progression is based on the second scale degree, the two, the fifth scale degree, the five, and the tonic scale degree, which is one, in both major and minor keys. The most important element of melodic or linear voice leading is the seventh to third resolution in this cycle progression, the two, five, one. As an example, in the key of C major, the two, five, one will be D minor seven, G seven to C major seven. The seventh of the D minor seven, which is C, resolves to the third of the G seven, which is B. The seventh of the G seven, which is F, will resolve to the third of the C major seven, which is E. In a minor two, five, one progression, the seventh of the D half diminished seven chord, which is also C, resolves to the third of the G seven flat nine, which is B, the seventh of the G7 flat nine, which is F, resolves to the E flat, which is the third of C minor seven. This voice leading works equally in both major and minor keys. And mastering this seventh to third resolution is important in your development as an improvising musician. You will find this particular resolution in almost every jazz solo throughout the history of jazz. Uh, the first outline I'll be discussing is appropriately titled Bebop Outline Number 1. Uh, but before I move on, uh, line shape and direction is also very important when improvising. So I've tried to create balanced outlines. Uh, outline number 1 has the direction moving down, then up, then back down. So now I'm going to demonstrate outline number 1 in both major and minor keys with a metronome. Using a metronome is of the utmost importance to develop a great internal time feel and sense of time. So here goes bebop outline number one in the major key. This is concert D minor seven, G seven to C major seven. key, we have D half diminished 7 to G7 to C minor 7. I'll play that example a couple times for you with the metronome. Excellent. So now I'd like you to join along and play both the 251 in major and the 251 in minor along with me. Uh, still with the metronome, so we're in the key of concert C. Uh, for E flat instruments, we're in the key of A. For B flat transposing instruments, we're in the key of D. And bass clef, still in the key of C. So I will give you a four beat count off and I will play the major bebop outline four times and the minor bebop outline four times. One, two, three, four. Now I'll 
play the bebop bot line in its minor form four times with a four beat count off. One, two, three, four. Excellent. So hopefully you're understanding this line, getting it under your fingers. Um, the idea that I'm using on the minor seven is a third inversion minor seven arpeggio. Uh, a first inversion arpeggio on the G7, the dominant seven chord, and a three, five, two, one melodic cell shape on the C major seven, as well as the C minor seven. Uh, so now once you're comfortable in concert C, uh, we want to learn this idea in all 12 keys. Having control of these ideas in all 12 keys is also of the utmost importance of an, as an improvising musician, uh, because when you play blues, rhythm changes, standards, uh, you will see all 12 keys at some point or another. So having that command in all 12 keys is very important. Uh, I'm gonna use a band in a box uh, play along backing track and I'm going to play through all 12 keys moving through the cycle of fourths the major bebop outline so the cycle of fourths meaning I'm going to start in concert C move to concert F concert B flat so on and so forth I'm going to do this two times through all 12 keys and I will encourage you to play along once you feel comfortable and with each pass try to get one more key under your fingers and in your ears. So here comes bebop outline in the major key in all 12 keys. Great, so that was the bebop outline and the major two five one progression in all 12 keys. Uh, I have provided PDFs to your band director uh, to allow the transposing instruments to also read along. Um, now I'd like to take you through the minor keys um, and I will take this a little bit slower. Uh, okay, technology. So now I'm going to do the minor keys. Uh, this is a little bit slower, and I'm going to take you again uh, through all 12 minor keys uh, two times.
So that takes us through the major 251 bebop outline in all 12 keys and the minor version of the bebop outline in all 12 keys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed part one of this three part series. Uh, again, I have provided PDFs to your band director so you can follow along uh, with this video. And I look forward to seeing you again in part two.